Hi there, my name is Rachel and today I'm going to be guiding us in a balancing flow yoga practice. So grab a mat and a space to practice. You may also want to have a block nearby in case you might need it. If you don't have a block, that's okay. Just grab maybe a stack of thick books, something around your house that you can use to help stabilize you if you need a little bit of a assist. But when you're ready, go ahead and find a nice cross-legged seat. You can bolster your hips up on something if you need to sit on something. And then just find whatever feels natural and comfortable for you today. Place your hands in whatever posture you like, either on your knees or in your lap. Root down through your sits bones into the ground and grow tall through the crown of your head. And then when you're ready, I invite you to gently close your eyes. Begin to notice the breath in and out through your nose. Whatever quality your breath is today without having to change it, without judgment, simply noticing. Together we'll take one three-part breath. We'll inhale through the nose, filling the belly, expanding the rib cage, and filling the chest. Hold at the top, then release, lowering the chest, knitting back together the ribs, and deflating the belly like a balloon. Allow your breath to return to its natural state, and then gently blink your eyes open. We'll begin today's practice in tabletop position. Stack each hand underneath your shoulders, point your finger facing the front of the room, and stack your hips under over top of your knees. Engage your core so that the back is nice and flat. We'll do a couple cat cows here. Inhale, look up, lower your belly. Exhale, round. Push the ground away. Inhale, gaze up, lift your tail to the sky. Exhale, round. Draw the navel up and in. Inhale, drop the belly, look up, exhale, round, draw back in. Inhale, find a flat back, and from here, on your next inhale, begin to raise your right hand out in front of you as if you're reaching out to shake a friend's hand in front of you, and raise your back left leg so now we're balancing on your left hand grounding into the earth, and your right knee. Flex your foot so that way the heel is pointing to the back of the room. Engage your core and find stability here. On an inhale, a gentle back bend, lift up. Exhale, draw your right elbow and your left knee to touch underneath you. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, reach back out, grow long. Exhale, contract. Inhale, plant your hand back on the ground where it came from and your left knee as well. And then on your next inhale, lift your left hand out now and your right foot, flexing through the heel, keeping your shoulder stacked over your hand that's rooted to the ground and your hip over your knee stabilizing with the strength of our core. Inhale, draw your limbs up, little back bend. Exhale, draw your elbow and knee in to touch underneath. Inhale, extend out. Exhale, contract in. Inhale, grow long. Exhale, contract. Inhale, find tabletop position. And then exhale. Inhale, step your feet back into a plank position. You can also come to your knees if you like, stacking your shoulders over your wrists. Nice long diagonal line of energy through the crown of your head and your tailbone. We'll hold here for just three, two, one. Inhale and exhale. Press back through the hips, sending them up into our first downward facing dog of the class. Go ahead and do whatever is intuitive in this posture. Pressing the ground away through the hands, drawing the heels down to the mat, even if they don't touch, that's okay. If you need to wiggle out, walk out your dog a little bit, 
gently bending each knee or swaying your hips gently side to side, that's fine. This is our first dog of the practice. And then when you're ready, find stillness in the pose. Connecting to the earth through all four corners of your hand, the thumb mound behind your thumb, the blade edge of your hand, and the mound behind your pointer finger. Spinning the triceps under, lifting the tail to the sky, finding strength in all four limbs of the body. If you'd like to turn on your ujjayi breath here, that's within your practice. Now is a great time. A gentle inhale and exhale through the nose, steady like the waves of the ocean, just a gentle contraction in the back of your throat. So that way there's an evenness to each inhale and each exhale. On your next inhale, look between your hands, exhale, bend your knees, send your hips back. And step your feet up between your hands, Uttanasana, forward fold. Also our first forward fold of the class. Give your legs a little wiggle here if you'd like. You can stand with your feet hips width distance apart or big toes to touch and a sliver between your heels. If you'd like to bend one knee at a time, feel a hamstring stretch to the opposite leg, you can. Or if you prefer to find stillness here, you are your own best teacher you know what's best for your body. So feel empowered in that here to make that call. Inhale, lift up halfway, flat back, hands come to shins. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hinge at the hips and rise, arms swim overhead, hands touch. Exhale, draw your hands down to heart center in prayer. And then if you'd like to, close your eyes. Now is a great opportunity to set an intention for the class. Perhaps today it's a simple reminder to be kind to yourself. This is your time. This is your practice. You set aside this moment to have fun and to do something nourishing for your body. So whatever comes up during the practice, whether we hold the pose or we fall out and have to jump back in, Remember to do it with a smile that you did something good for yourself today and you should be proud. When you're ready, blink your eyes open. Inhale, arms come overhead. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold down into Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold and plant your hands. Step or hop back into Chaturanga or lower from plank into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up and back behind you. Nice square hip to the ground. Heel draws back like we did at the beginning of the practice. We find our three-legged dog. Maintain an evenness in our hands and our shoulders so we're not twisting our torso to lift our leg higher. Inhale one last time with our right leg lifted. Exhale, draw your knee into your nose and curl. Shoulders come over wrists. Inhale, draw your right leg back, three-legged dog. Exhale, curl. Last time. Inhale, draw the leg back. Exhale, curl and step your hand, a uh, foot between your hands. Keep on the ball of your back left foot. Engage your core and rise into crescent pose. Keep the core engaged here to maintain integrity in the lower back. We don't want to bend into it and cause injury there. And not extending our right knee beyond our right ankle. We want our joints stacked to protect our knee as well. Arms in line with ears. Inhale, look up between our hands. Exhale, begin to drop the arms down by the sides and then reach them forward and draw, inhale, draw them back up in line with the ears. We're going to flow this a couple times. Exhale, become wide, drawing the arms down. Inhale, arms come back up in line with the ears. Exhale, arms drop. Inhale, arms come up. 
and hold. Inhale, gaze up between your hands. Grow tall. Exhale, bring the hands down to frame the front foot. Step the right foot back to meet left. Lower through Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. One breath in. And slow breath out. Next side. Inhale, lift the left leg up and back behind you. Maintain the evenness in the shoulders. Noticing if the left side's a little different than the right, that's okay. Inhale, lift the leg up, look between your hands. Exhale, draw the left knee into the chest and curl. Shoulders come or the wrist. Inhale, draw back, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw in, curl over that knee. Inhale, last one, draw back. Exhale, curl in and step up. Foot between the hands, stay on the ball of the back right foot. Engaging the core, we rise. Crescent pose on the other side. Of course, if you're struggling to maintain balance in the crescent poses, that's okay. Heel toe your front foot to the side of your mat to create more space for your hips. You can find more evenness in your feet. Driving through the heel of that front left foot, growing tall through the torso. We inhale, look up. Exhale, drop your hands wide on either side like a T. Inhale, swim the arms back overhead in line with ears. Look up. Exhale, we circle them back out wide. Inhale, we come up again. Exhale, we grow wide. One last time. Inhale, arms up in line with ears to the sky. Exhale, we expand. Inhale, come up, look up. Exhale, drop your hands to frame your front foot. Step back to plank. Exhale, into chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, yogi's choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. And breathe, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth and slow. One more time. Inhale through the nose. Maybe stick your tongue out. Okay. Inhale. Lift your right leg to the sky. Square hip. Look forward. Exhale. Draw your right knee in and step up between your hands. Stay on the back toes and rise. Crescent pose, hands to the sky, inhale, exhale, draw your hands to your heart and lean out over your front leg so the torso's at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, look forward just about a foot ahead of your front foot and rise, lifting up the back left foot, driving through the back heel, we find warrior three. Engage your core. Connect to the ground, all four corners of the front foot, the big toe mound, the mound behind the pinky toe, and back two corners of the heel. On the inhale, begin to pendulum swing your left leg and draw your left knee up as we come upright. Draw in, exhale, left foot comes down to meet right. We find standing posture, Tadasana. Inhale, gaze up, and exhale. We switch legs, ground down through the left foot, all four corners of the left foot. We find stability shifting our weight here. We begin to turn our hip out and draw our right foot up her leg, either on the shin or above the knee. You can grab it with your hand if you need to help place your foot on the inside of the thigh there, we find tree pose. If you like, you can keep your hands at your heart or out to the sides, airplane wings, or you can grow your limbs up like a tree, spreading through the fingers, picking one point ahead of you, either on the ground or on the wall nearby in front of you to so fix your gaze. In yoga, we call this your drishti. 
your focal point. Where your eyes go, your balance goes as well. Sending energy down into the ground through that grounded left foot, and engaging our core for stability. We grow tall, and we remember to breathe. Even though we're super focused and our breath may be coming shallow and tempted to even stop, can you maintain your breath in this posture? Inhale, look up, grow tall. Exhale, if you have, don't have your hands in prayer, join them and draw them down to prayer as you lower your right foot. Shift your weight into your right foot. Begin to draw your left knee into your chest and begin to tip forward, extending your left heel back to the back of the room, driving through that heel. We find warrior three again. And when you're ready, drop step your ball of your left foot back and raise your arms. We find crescent pose again. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, hands come down to frame the front foot. Step back into plank, lower through chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, draw the knee into the chest and step your foot up in between your hands. Engage your core, staying on the ball of your back, right toes. We rise. Press and pose on the other side on an inhale. Exhale, draw your hands to heart center in prayer. And begin to lean out at that 45 degree angle over that bent left leg. Shifting the weight into that leg, we step up, driving through the back right heel, we find warrior three. And hold, feeling a strong connection with the earth, with that left foot. But you may also notice a little bit of wobbling, some micro movements in that foot, in that ankle that's grounded. This is your body making adjustments for you, maintaining your balance. Going long through the crown of the head, the back right foot. We engage the core as we come to stand, drawing your right knee into the chest. Inhale, look up, exhale. Right foot meets left, rear into Dasana. And breathe, one inhale, one exhale. We switch legs, we draw our weight into our right foot, grounding down. We begin to turn our hip out, knees to face the left side of the room, and we draw that left foot up along the inseam of that right leg. You can even reach down with your left hand to help place that left foot wherever you need, never on the knee, but on the shin, on the inside of the upper thigh, or even prop on the ground with the toes touching the ground, whatever's available to you today, that's okay. This practice meets you where you are. You can leave your hands at heart center, bring your arms out wide like a T, or grow your branches to the sky, palms to face the front of the room, Finding a steady gaze. Maintaining our breath. We find stillness in this posture. Forgiving ourselves if we fall out, if we have to catch ourselves, if we have to drop our foot, that's okay. Part of finding balance is learning self-forgiveness for when we need to try again, jumping in and being kind. Inhale, we're tall. Exhale, draw your hands to heart center if they aren't already there and lower your left foot to meet right. Shift your weight into your left foot, draw your right knee into your chest and extend the right heel back to the back of the space as we lean out, we find warrior three again. Engaging through the core, nice and long, square hip to the ground. Inhale, and then exhale, drop step the ball of your right foot to the back of the room and inhale, arms swim in long side ears, reaching to the sky, crescent pose. Inhale, grow tall, exhale, hands come to frame the front foot, step back into plank, lower through chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. 
Nicely done, everyone. Let's take a breath here in Downward Facing Dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Lift your right leg up and back, three-legged dog again. Exhale, draw your right knee into your chest. Step your right foot between your hands. Spin your back foot flat now. So that way the back edge of that foot is parallel to the back edge of the mat. Inhale, windmill your arms up and over. We find warrior two. Connecting to the ground with driving through that heel, the front foot, a 90 degree bend to the front leg and driving through the blade edge of the back left foot. We're connected to the earth. Our arms are strong like a T. Our collarbones drawing wide across our chest, hip points shining towards the left side of the room. Gaze steady over our right fingertips. Inhale here and exhale. Straighten your front right leg and heel toe your back foot in a couple times and now our heels are in line with one another we're going to find triangle pose shoot your right left hip back towards the back of the room and tip forward keeping our body in one plane tucking the hip the right hip up and under so we're not splaying and sticking our booty out to go deeper into the posture. It's about growing long through the spine here, engaging the core to maintain that plane as if you're smashed between two pieces of bread. We want our body to be nice and flat here. Gaze towards the left raised hand, really gonna stretch through the side body. Gaze down towards the right foot, about a foot out in front of that those toes. If you need to grab a block, go ahead and place the block at that spot, a foot in front of your toes. Begin to bend the right knee, aim your right hand at that spot or the block, and begin to lift your back left leg up, driving through the blade edge of the foot, flexing the foot, straightening the leg if it's available for you. We find half moon growing long through the, uh, the raised left arm, the bottom right leg, and the extended back left leg. We breathe in the kind. We breathe and we are strong. Inhale, look down and begin to bend your right knee gently. Step back into warrior two and come back as we inhale, peaceful warrior. Gaze up at that right hand above our heads. And exhale, windmill our hands down to frame the front foot, step back in the plank. Exhale, lowering through chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ooh. Try the second side, so the last part of our standing series. Inhale, raise your left leg up behind you, nice square hip. Exhale, draw your knee into your chest and step up between your hands, spinning the back right foot flat so the blade edge is parallel to the back edge of the mat. We bend into the left leg and move our arms up into warrior two. Stacking that knee over our ankle, never extending it past that point. We gaze out over our left fingertips and find strength. Tucking the tail gently and breathing. We find stillness and a posture, maybe noticing the sweat glistening on our skin or something about our hair or our clothes that we wanna fix. Resisting that temptation to savor the moment and accept ourselves exactly how we are in this strong, powerful posture. Inhale, and then exhale, straighten your front left leg and heel toe your back foot in, so that way your heels are in line with one another. The right foot is still parallel to the back edge of the mat. We kick 
our right hip back to the back edge of the room, and we tilt out, gazing up at that extended right hand above our heads, maintaining that plane, tucking that left hip up and underneath to keep our back strong and extending out. I know personally I have to leave my ego at the door in this posture because instead of going deeper into the pose and trying to touch my ankle, I have to focus on not how the posture looks, but how it feels and what's good for my body. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down at your left front toes, about a foot out in front of them. Begin to aim that left hand, maybe grabbing the block to that spot. You place the hand and begin to lift the right leg, driving through that foot, flexing that heel, picking a spot on the mat to gaze, engaging our core, long and strong. And if we fall, if we wiggle, if we wobble, we are kind. We thank ourselves for showing up today and trying something new. For our commitment to the practice. Inhale and exhale, begin to bend the front leg, lifting the hand, gently drop stepping our foot back into warrior two. We inhale, look up into peaceful warrior at the top hand, Exhale, we kneel the hands to frame the front foot. Step back into plank. Lower through chaturanga or skip it. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nicely done. We're gonna cool things down now. Inhale, raise your right leg up into the sky. And now begin to stack your hips. Maybe bend that top right knee, opening our hip, still maintaining the evenness in our hands. Inhale, straighten the leg, square off that hip, then draw in the right knee and then place it by the right wrist. Releasing that foot flat, maybe walking it back or sitting up for single pigeon pose. The front shin can be parallel or not, it's not important. Maybe walking that foot back as much as you need. You can place a block underneath your hip here if you need to, or underneath this psoas here. Inhale, grow tall, lift up. Then exhale, begin to fold down over that front leg, maybe walking your hand out in front of you and placing your forehead on the mat and breathing. If you feel like this is a deep stretch, with every inhale, sending breath, like loving energy to that spot. And with every exhale, pulling out whatever about that spot no longer serves you. Using the breath as a grounding in and out to bring you back to this present moment. Surrender into the posture, allowing the hips to release. Inhale, begin to walk your hands back in, come up and plant your hands on the mat, tuck your back left toes and begin to draw your right knee up to the chest Step back into plank and come back, sending the hips up to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up, open the hip, bend the knee. Feel a nice stretch. Then exhale, draw your left knee up to your left wrist and place the shin flat. Walk your back right leg and the toes back a little if you need to. Set up your blocks, your pillows, your bolsters under your hips as you need, or maybe even in front of you to lay down. Grow tall if that's available to you. And then begin to fold down over the leg, 
Walk your hands out and release. Noticing if this side is a little different, that's okay. Oftentimes, one side of our body is more tight than the other. Simply noticing, never judging. Always breathing. Inviting your body to release if that's available. Returning to the evenness of your breath. Inhales just as long as your exhales. Inhale, begin to walk your hands back in. Start tall. And then plant your hands. Tuck your back right toes. Draw your left knee up into your chest. Step back to the plank and raise your hips up, downward facing dog. You can take a final vinyasa here just to clean your slate if you like, or you can meet us in downward facing dog. Inhale, come into plank if this is what you choose. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look up and exhale, lower your knees to the mat. Sitting back towards your heels and shifting your feet to one side, we're coming onto our backs. Extend your legs out long. Scoot to the middle of your mat if you need to. And then slowly lower down to the mat. Draw your right knee in. I'm going to take a supine twist. Give that knee a hug. And then guide it with your left hand across the body. Teasing out towards your right hand. Coming straight out from your shoulder. Drawing that right shoulder down to the mat. Breathe. You can release your ujjayi breath here and returning to that normal quality of your breath, signaling to the body that it is time to wind down. Inhale, begin to come out of the twist and then exhale, draw your leg in and release. We're going to switch, draw your left knee in, give it a hug. And then guide it with your right hand across the body, gazing out at your left fingertips, inviting that left shoulder down to the mat, even if it's tempted to sneak up to help make the twist a little more dramatic. It's about what the pose feels like. What feels right in your body? Allowing yourself to let go of appearances and image for your pleasure for your benefit. One final inhale here. And exhale, begin to draw your knee back into your chest. Give it a squeeze. Then send your leg out to meet your other. We find our final pose, Shavasana. Make a couple adjustments if you need to. Getting yourself comfortable, drawing your shoulders away from your ears. Allowing your legs to twist out, your feet to splay out, and then your body to grow heavy, sinking into the floor. Inviting all tension to release. Maybe doing a body scan to see, are you holding tension in your eyebrows? In your cheeks and your jaw. Are you pressing your tongue to the roof of your mouth? I invite you to completely let go and allow yourself to rest fully in our final pose, Shavasana.
begin to bring awareness back into your body, noticing the feeling of the ground rising to meet you, the temperature of the room, the way the air feels on your skin, shiny evenly in your fingertips and your toes. Maybe giving yourself a nice deep breath or stretching your arms out overhead. Long body stretch. And then when you're ready, rolling over to one side into the fetal position. Maybe resting your head on your arm for a moment. And then pressing yourself up into a seated position that we started in today. I invite you to draw your hands to heart center one last time. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. May the light within me honor the light within you. Namaste. Thank you for showing up for yourself. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.